G'day folks, howdy. Welcome back to Cookie's Fish Room. My name is Norm, and for those who are joining us for the very first time, thank you very much. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, the notification bell, and to those who are regulars, thank you again for subscribing to Cookie's Fish Room. Um, today is going to be a little different. I want to start with a very big happy birthday to my little man, Jordan. I love you to bits. Happy fifth birthday. You're becoming a very big boy and daddy can't wait to talk to you after this and give you a cuddle and celebrate. So today is going to be speaking about people's opinions and um, of pest nails. So I'll say opinions because mine isn't, um, they should be considered as pests. I think they're great to have in the tank. They're there for a reason. They're an integral part of a perfect environment and they will let you know when something is happening with your tank. Now, let's start by talking about which snails are considered to be pest snails. So there are four. We'll start with the little ram's horn, little circly one. Uh, very similar looking to the large red ones or pattern ones that we see sold in, aquari in aquariums, fish shops, but they are mini and tiny versions of that. They are not the same ones. Secondly, uh, bladder snails. They are tiny brown snails. They have patterns, most will have patterns on them, stripes, spots, or even color. Some of them have white shading to, um, to the shell. And they are very small. They don't grow more than three to five millimeters big in size. Uh, pond snails is another one. They are much larger than the bladder snails. They are darker in color, almost black, some of them. And they grow to about a centimeter in size. Uh, they are pretty thick and they do get pointy at the end. And lastly, the Malaysian trumpet snail. Now, these are sold in aquariums and, lo and local fish shops and they look like little cones. Some of them have patterns and they're pretty cool looking in my opinion. Now, the reason why I don't think these should be considered to be called pest snails is for the following. They make great cleanup crews. They are an integral part, especially the Malaysian trumpet snail. It will get into places, other, other creatures, other fish, other snails, other shrimp cannot even dream about. It will get into your substrate, eat all your leftover food, rubbish, and it will aerate it at the same time, giving your plants the, the, their roots, the, the much needed oxygen aeration and room to grow that it requires. You won't regret having these snails, unless this is where it's tricky. People complain because they have tons of these pest snails getting out of control in their tank. And the reason why they get out of control are mainly these two things. One, you're overfeeding. No doubt about it, you give them a food source and they will multiply. Two, your tank is dirty. Simple, just clean it. They will feed on excess algae. They will feed on dead leaves. So the more crap you got in your tank, the hungrier they are, they will eat it. And this is all pest snails, not just the Malaysian trumpet snails. So you get rid of those things and you won't have an issue with these snails at all. The other way of keeping these things under control is to quarantine your plants before you put them into your tank. Now, it's very important to do so, not just because of bringing in pest snails, but also bringing in diseases. So don't forget to quarantine your plants. There is a pin thread in Cookie's Fish Room on Facebook, got new announcements on how to do so and I will be doing a video on how to quarantine these plants. So that's the two main ways of ensuring you don't have an issue with these gorgeous, cute snails. And now, this is why they are very important. Aside from giving aeration, they will let you know you're overfeeding. Now, naturally, if you are overfeeding and your, plant, your tank is that dirty, you've got a good chance there's ammonia in your tank. They're a great indicator something's not right inside that tank. So take notice and make sure that you're not overfeeding 
and you are giving your 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 aquarium the much needed water changes and vacuuming the substrate when necessary you don't always have to vacuum the substrate especially if you have a planted aquarium it's not necessary to, to vacuum the substrate you can just pick out the dead leaves by hand or with a pair of tweezers so you ask how do i get get rid of these pest snails my, they're out of control in my tank there's a few ways you can make your own bottle trap um, it's fairly easy to, to do just chop the top of a bottle stick it in upside down and place some food inside of it drop it into your tank the next morning you will have hundreds of these little buggers in there They'll, well it all depends on how many you've got in your tank to start with another way is to manually pick them out of your tank um, I've had to do this before, gone on holidays, come back and there were literally hundreds in the tank. Uh, best time to do it is when your lights are switched off because they, they tend to come out in the dark. The third way is to drop a piece of food in a tank, a blanched piece of vegetable because they seem not to be too into raw veggies. The best that I find that they like is a raw, uh, sorry, a blanched piece of broccoli you do that, drop it in overnight, the next morning you will have the, it covered in these nails. Pick it out, drop another one in again, and keep doing so um, until you're basically getting no more. And lastly, the best way to ensure or to get rid of these guys is to stop overfeeding. You stop overfeeding, they'll be gone. So if you don't like them, don't overfeed, quarantine your plants and you'll be fine. Don't forget these guys uh, part of the natural environment where your fish are found. They, they have a role to play. They're important and they're a great indicator of something happening in your tank. They might be an eyesore to some, but personally, I think they're mega cute. The Malaysian trumpet snails are gorgeous. So just keep a few in there. Don't let it get out of control. Don't overfeed your fish. Keep your tank clean and you won't have any more problems. All right. That's it for today, it was a short but sweet one. Hope you're all well. Stay, stay warm if you're in the Northern Hemisphere and if you're down south like me, enjoy the nice summer weather in your t-shirt. Get to the beach, hope you're all well, take care and I'll speak to you next week. Ciao.